In the last video, we talked about the difference between cognitive meaning and emotive meaning. Cognitive meaning being the meaning, the informational content that can be true or false in a statement. And the emotive meaning is the different sorts of um, positive or negative um, feelings that we might associate with certain words, certain terms, that they elicit those or that they express that type of emotion. What we're going to turn to now is terms. Um, and there are two kinds of meanings that are associated with terms, intentional meaning and extensional meaning. So first let's consider what a term is. So a term is any word or arrangement of words that can serve as the subject of a sentence. So the grammatical subject. If it can serve as the grammatical subject of a sentence uh, in a grammatically correct fashion, then it's a term. So examples of terms then would include Daffy Duck, because Daffy Duck, you know, you can construct a sentence with Daffy Duck as the subject. For instance, Daffy Duck is the subject of the sentence I'm speaking of right now. Um, tallest student. So the tallest student um, hit his head on the uh, on the door jam, and so that um, so in that case we see that tallest student is the subject and therefore is a term. Uh, the shoe is red. The ceiling fan is on. So contrast that with non-terms. Uh, it doesn't make sense to say the silly is red or the hence is red or um, you know mixes and matches get over here or mixes and matches clean your room or something of that sort right or once a do over that's a verb so none of those are terms those are non-terms so now that we have an understanding of terms, let's start taking a look at um, the intentional meaning and the extensional meaning of terms. So let's take a look at the concepts of intentional meaning and extensional meaning. And once we've um, defined those, we'll turn to an example to give you a, con a better concrete understanding of these concepts. So um, intentional meaning the intentional meaning or intention or connotation of a term consists of the set of attributes or qualities shared by all and only those objects to which the term applies. So attributes or qualities or properties or characteristics or traits. Uh, we've got several words that we might use to, to pick that out. So um, for instance, trees. Take the, take the term tree. Um, Part of the connotation of a tree will include plant, will include bark, will include leaves. Um, probably all sorts of other things, uh, trunk, roots, right? All sorts of other things that go into what it is for a thing to be a tree. So its connotation are those sets of attributes or properties that are fundamental to being a tree in this case. So if that's the intentional meaning of tree, what's the, ex what's the extensional meaning? The extensional meaning or extension or what we'll also call denotation of a term consists of the collection of objects that the term picks out. That is, the objects to which the term refers. So tree, for instance, uh, the extensional meaning of tree is going to include all these trees that are outside in the courtyard of this apartment that I'm currently living in, right? All it's going to not just include those, but it's going to it's going to include all the trees throughout um, throughout Earth right now. And if there are, happen to be trees um, somehow in in other parts of the universe, it's going to include those too. And that all of those trees together that that currently exist. All of those trees make up the extensional meaning of the term tree. So intention deals with the attributes 
and the qualities of the things that fall under its extension or belongs to its extension. So let's look at an example now. The example that we're going to look at here is the term comedian. So first let's consider what comedian denotes. That is, let's look at the extension. Now, there's a whole lot of comedians, so I can't give you the whole of um, the extension of comedian, but here are some examples. Louis C.K., Bo Burnham, Daniel Tosh. So these are all people that are comedians and they belong to the extension of the term comedian. Of course, this keeps going on and on. Um, Aaron Burr, um, I don't know, there's you know, uh, all sorts of comedians that need to belong in here. Now let's think about what comedian connotes. And again, I don't mean to suggest that this is going to exhaust the connotation or the intention of the term comedian but surely these are things that are going to be included. So what gets connoted, what falls in the intention of the term comedian? Well, humorous, if you're a good comedian, right? quick-witted, clever, you probably should have put tells jokes, it's pretty integral to being a comedian, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So notice these are properties or attributes that these guys have. And that's why these, this is the connotation or the intention of comedian, whereas being that these people are comedians, they belong to the extension or are denoted by the term comedian. Let's turn our attention to applying these concepts. Well, first, we're going to start with the concept of extension. Which of the following are denoted by the term coin? Take a little bit of time to look through A through E. Pause the video if you need to. Um, and then we'll discuss the correct answer. The correct answer is E, dime, nickel, quarter, penny. And that's because each of those things, dime, nickel, quarter, and penny, are instances of coins. And the extension uh, is uh, the term coin, or the denotation, is just the things that fall under that term, that that term refers or applies to. Um, you might have been tempted to say round, metallic, shiny, valuable, but that's more likely to be the intention, right? That's the intention because coins um, are usually round, metal, shiny, valuable. Those are the typical attributes or properties or characteristics um, of coins. Now let's apply the concept of intention. Which of the following are connoted by the term sculptor? Take some time to find the right answer, pause the video if you need to, and we'll discuss the correct answer in just a moment. The correct answer is visual, skillful, dexterous, precise. So answer C. And why is that the correct answer? Well, sculptors are the people who make sculptures. And <clears throat> examples of them, that is the, um, the people who belong to the extension of that term, uh, would include Michelangelo, Picasso, Henry Moore, and more. And more. And notice that in order for them to make sculptures, they need to be visual, skillful, dexterous, precise, etc. So 
those properties, those attributes are associated with the term sculptor. And since the intentional meaning is just going to be those the attributes that are associated with it, that means C's got to be the correct answer. Now that we have a decent grasp on the um, concepts of intention and extension, let's turn our attention to a more philosophical worry with respect to them. And what we want to know is whether intention determines extension. So is it the properties and attributes of a term that tells us what its extension is going to be? Or does the extension determine the intention? Well, we can consider um, a particular kind of term to, uh, to settle this question. So namely, if we take a term like Gandalf, right, which actually doesn't refer to anything, not anything in reality, that is, its extension is empty, then we can see that it must be the case that intention determines extension. So Gandalf, the term, certainly has some meaning to it, even though its extension is empty. And its intention is going to involve the thing that found Orchrist, um, also a, a thing that's going to have no extension, but it's going to have itself a, an intention. But it's the... Um, the particular sword that he finds. Uh, it's wizard, helped Bilbo and Frodo, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? Well, when we try to figure out whether there is anything that belongs to the extension of Gandalf, we look at the intention and see if there's anything that actually has those attributes. The reason why the term Gandalf is empty is precisely because when we look out in the world, we don't find any particular thing that has found Orcrist, that is a wizard, and that helped Bilbo and Frodo. So it's the intention that's doing the work in determining that the extension is empty, that the term actually doesn't refer to anything. Thus, the intention determines extension. So now let's turn to applying these concepts some more. Now go through each one through five and to determine whether the things listed, the terms that are listed, whether those terms have the, ex the same extension or not. So you can pause the video or take a little bit of time um, to do that and then we'll go through them one by one. Let's start with one. If you said that iPod and MP3 player has the same extension, you'll be wrong. So the extension of iPod, so if we think of all the things that are going to belong to the extension of iPod, they're all going to have, they're all going to be Apple products. Now I, I can't include all the iPods right, that are out there. But what's important is they'll all be Apple products. Whereas for MP3 players, the extension of that term is going to include all of these things. and plus more. So I, I'm, I'm not sure if they make zooms anymore, but that used to be an MP3 player. I imagine there's some that still exist out there. Uh, your phones, probably Samsung, Nokia, any smartphone anymore pro will have basically be an MP3 player, right? Um, so a bunch more objects are going to get in here than in here which means that they do not have the same extension. 
we look at number two, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, while it's true that they're both basketball players, the extension of the term Michael Jordan is one and only one person, namely Michael Jordan. And the extension of Kobe Bryant is one and only one person, and that is namely Kobe Bryant. And um, unless they're pulling some sort of Clark Kent Superman trick on us, it'll turn out that Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant are not the same person, and therefore the extension of those terms is not the same. Elon Musk, founder of SpaceX, it turns out that Elon Musk is a particular person, he's a billionaire, he's a co-founder of Tesla, and he is the founder of SpaceX. So the extension of Elon Musk is namely Elon Musk, and the extension of founder of SpaceX is Elon Musk. So in number three, we do have the same extension. Your critical thinking instructor, Dr. Micah Bailey. Turns out I'm Dr. Micah Bailey, so the extension of Dr. Micah Bailey is me. Very likely, your critical thinking thinking instructor is Dr. Micah Bailey, which is me. In which case, these terms have the same extension, they have the same extensional meaning. Number five, werewolf currently living triceratops. This may be surprising to you, but these things have the same extension. There are no werewolves. Which means the extension of the term werewolf is what we call the null set, or its, an, or it's extension is empty. Okay, it's the null set or it's empty. Likewise, there's no currently living triceratops. So when we look at the objects that are in its extension, lo and behold, it's the null set. This is a null set, this is the null set. So the same thing. So the extension of werewolf and the extension of currently living triceratops is the same. Of course, their intention, their connotation is wildly different. Right? The intention of werewolf is going to have something to do with changing into a wolf man like creature when it's um, a full moon out and a bunch of other things. Currently living triceratops, dinosaur is going to be part of that. Um, going to be part of the intention to that. Currently, so living now, a living, breathing thing now um, is going to be part of that. And then all the other sorts of properties or attributes that go in with being a triceratops. But since we're talking about extension, not intention, and because there are no werewolves and there are no currently living triceratops, it turns out that their extension is in fact the same. In this problem, we want to determine whether, um, given the terms, whether the intention is increasing. That is, as we look at each term, do we, are we getting more, as we proceed in the list, does it include more and more properties, more and more attributes? Or is the intention decreasing? That is, do we start with a term that has the most properties, most attributes, and then as we proceed, throughout the list, through the list, uh, that the number of attributes ends up getting smaller and smaller. So first we have automobile, car, Chevrolet, cars, Corvette, 
1968 Stingray. So take a little bit of time and determine with this list whether you think the intention is increasing or decreasing. All right, so <clears throat> what we have here in this first case is that the intention is increasing. Why? Well, there's going to be um, a certain set of properties or attributes that are going to go into um, a thing being an automobile. So we might say um, it's got to have some wheels and it's got to have an engine. And that's probably, I imagine, sufficient for something to be an automobile. Now, if we want, now notice that automobiles are going to include all sorts of things. It's going to include trucks, it's going to include um, motorcycles, it's going to include cars, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So once we get to the next term, in order to make sure that, so in thinking about the, the attributes that are associated with it, the attributes need to make sure to exclude trucks. It needs to make sure to exclude um motorcycles. So we have to add additional intentional meaning to do that. And it, maybe this will become clear as we move next to Chevrolet cars. So for, um, if we're just looking at car and comparing that to Chevrolet cars, Notice this is going to include Toyotas, and it's, um, yeah, so it's going to include Toyotas, it's going to include Fords, it's going to include um, Chryslers, Dodgers, etc. Well, in order, so now we have Chevrolet cars, in order to exclude the things that get in here, we have to add additional meaning Namely, that it's made by a certain, it has the property of being made by a certain company, car manufacturer. Then we have to add the additional meaning that it's got to have a certain make. Then we have to adapt, add the additional meaning that, um, uh, that it's a certain year and certain body style. <clears throat> Okay, so now look at this list, chicken, poultry, meat, food, goods, and determine whether the intention is increasing or decreasing. All right, in this case, in this list, the intention is decreasing. So notice that chicken is a specific kind of poultry. So make so right. So poultry is going to include at least turkeys, I guess, probably duck, um, pheasant, and some other things. Uh, in order to, if we think about the properties that are associated with chicken, it needs to have more than than poultry to make sure to exclude those other cases, to exclude the cases of duck, turkey, um, pheasant, etc. And then we have that same type of thing, relationship going on with poultry, poultry and meat. Meat's going to include beef, pork, poultry. I don't know if there's other kinds of meat. Um, I don't know if it's like whale meat or, or porpoise meat. But anyways, you get the idea. Um, in order to make sure that in this term we don't get the things that don't belong there, namely beef and pork, etc., it needs to have an additional intentional meaning than meat has, than the term meat has. So as we're moving right, we're taking away 
the in, intentional meaning um, that's excluding those other things. Right? So then meat or food. So maybe the intentional meaning between meat and food, uh, this won't be exactly right, but it might have something to do with animal, um, animal food. So meat is an animal food. That won't include everything because you've got fish and insects and a bunch of other things. I'm not sure what distinguishes those, but it's food plus some, it's got all the same intentional meaning as food, but plus some other property and attributes that needs to be included. So again, as we move to the right, we're, um, we're now reducing the amount of attributes or properties in our term. All right, and then food is a kind of good. There's other goods besides food your computer, your iPod, your, um, your car, your whatever, right? Okay, so in this case, our intention is increasing. Notice that as our intention is increasing, normally that's going to mean that our extension is decreasing. As our intention increases, that is, as we get more and more properties that are associated with the term, it tends to be the case that fewer and fewer things, objects, end up in its extension. And that's because the more and more properties that we associate with the term, there's more and more criteria that have to be met in order for a thing to belong to that extension. So you're raising the bar, as it were, for something to get in there. You're making it harder and harder and harder for something to get in there. And then the opposite is true when our intention is decreasing. As you're pulling back or pulling away those attributes, there's less criteria that has to be met in order for a thing to belong to the extension of that term. You're lowering, lowering the bar. You're making it easier for something to fall, um, to, for that term to refer to. Now let's look at the same kind of problem, but only with extension instead of intention. So we want to ask ourselves with the list that we have in front of us, whether the extension is increasing or decreasing. So I've already given away, from the previous slide, I've already given away the answer to the first two lists. So let's just go ahead and look at those. You have automobile, car, Chevrolet Corvette 1968 Stingray. And if we think about how many objects are going to belong to the term automobile, it's going to be a lot more than what um, is going to belong to the extension of car. Because not only is it going to include everything that car includes, but it's in addition going to have all the motorcycles, all the trucks, et cetera, et cetera, in it. And that same pattern continues. Cars are not are going to the term car is not only going to include all Chevrolets, but it's going to also include all Fords, all Lexuses, all Dodges, etc. Um, <clears throat> and so on and so on as we go through that list. So its extension is decreasing as we go through the list. It's increasing on the next list. Chicken is the most specific of the goods that are on that list. So it's going to have the fewest um, items in it. It's going to have the fewest uh, things in it, the fewest goods in it. Um, poultry being less specific includes not only chicken, but also turkey, duck, whatever. And that same relationship is going to bear with meat. Meat not only includes everything that's, a pul that's poultry, it's going to include all the beef, it's going to include all the pork, and etc. So in this case, our extension is getting larger as we go from left to right. So it's increasing. So our extension is increasing. All right, so let's look at these next two. Go ahead and take a little bit of time to think about them. Pause the video if you need to. And decide whether it's extension, the extension of the list is increasing or decreasing as we go left to right.
right, so our third list, Gnomes, Harry Potter's Friends, Katniss Everdeen. So gnomes, you might think that there's a whole lot of gnomes. So you might think then that that's got the most amount of things in it. So it's got the largest extension, where Harry Potter's friends, I don't know, were three or four people or something of that sort, right? So a little bit less. So it seems like the extension is probably decreasing. And then we get to Katniss Everdeen, and there's only going to be one person in there. But it turns out, so this is a trick question, turns out that it's neither increasing nor de decreasing. There aren't really any gnomes. So the extension of um, the term gnomes is the null set. It's the empty set. Same with Harry Potter's friend. There isn't really a person called it, um, named Harry Potter. There's an actor, right, that plays Harry Potter, but there isn't Harry Potter. And so the extension of Harry Potter's friends is also the null set or the empty set. And same thing with Katniss Everdeen. Hunger Games is just a um, fictional story. There is no real person named Katniss Everdeen. So it also refers to the null set. So the extension is always the same and therefore neither increasing nor decreasing. So let's look at this last one. It says, living human being, then living human being with a genetic code. Well, clearly we've added, right, we've added um, a property, some connotation to it. Its connotation is increasing. Same with living human being less than 100 feet tall. Now we've added even more intentional meaning to it. But even though we're adding intentional meaning, where usually that means, so as that's increasing, usually that means the extension is decreasing. Again, the extension here is remaining the same. Why? Because living human beings is going to take, you know, the things that are going to get into that are just the living human beings. But all of those people already have a genetic code. So it's going to be the very same people. The living human beings with a genetic code will be the same people as the living human beings. And the living people with a genetic code are already less than 100 feet tall. There's, there's no person 100 foot tall or more or higher, taller. So that's going to pick out the very same people, the very same human beings. So even though the intention is increasing in this case, the extension is staying the same. So it's an exception to the rule of when the intention increases, the extension decreases. For this last problem that we're going to take a look at, what you want to do is take the terms 1, 2, 3, and 4 and first put them in the order of increasing extension and then put them in the order of increasing intention. So pause the video, take a little bit of time to do that, and then we'll discuss the correct answer. Okay, so let's uh, first look at increasing extension. So with the increasing extension, the fewest things will be tigers. I don't know how many there are, but there's less than there are felines because felines are not only going to include t uh, tigers, but they're going to include lions and cheetahs and leopards, and house cats, etc. So next then will be mammal, because not only will mammal include felines, but it's going to include canines, um, you know, whatever um, 
other kinds of mammals that there are. So I don't know how many there are, but I know there's definitely more than there are felines. Last then will be animals, because animals will not only include mammals, but it's going to include um, reptiles and amphibians, etc., and fish, etc. And as you are probably quick to answer now that we know the order of the extension, it's going to be in reverse. So it'll be animal, mammal, feline. So there'll be some set of properties that determines uh, whether a thing is an animal. And then to make sure to exclude all the other animals that are not mammals, we have to, be, we have to add on additional properties to the set of properties that are included with mammal, and so on and so on as we get to type.